just didn't seem real and now it's happening and it's very scary. Yeah, Kristen just mentioned the Florida Keys and I think that is really the area of major, major concern. As we head into late tonight into tomorrow morning, look how large this storm is. Irma, again, still a very strong category four storm with 155 miles per hour. If there's any good news this morning, it's bad news for Cuba, but if it's good news for us, again, it's interacting with the Cuba coastline right now. And you notice how that eye wall is starting to collapse. Notice a lot more drier air starting to work its way into Irma here. And that signs that Irma is weakening a bit this morning. However, Irma's going to track right across the Gulf Stream. Very warm and favorable conditions that we could see it even bounce back up to a Category 5 storm before landfall on the Florida Keys and then eventually the southwest coast of Florida. The computer models over the last 24 hours really zoning in on southwestern Florida from Fort Myers down to say Marco Island. If you got family friends that are trying to ride out this storm from Marco Island up to Naples, Fort Myers, give them a call. Tell them to get out while they can, because again, this is not going to be a storm to mess with. Looking live back home, we have quiet, beautiful weather. This is a live look in Racine. Current temperature 60 degrees along the lakeshore. It's quite a bit cooler inland. We'll show you those numbers in a second. 61 degrees in Milwaukee. Check out the temperatures across southeastern Wisconsin. Lower 60s in spots right along the lakeshore. Water temperature at 61. That's our temperature in Milwaukee. Look away from Lake Michigan, 45 degrees, a light east wind keeping us warmer near the lake this morning, but it's going to hold our temperatures in check this afternoon. As we try to warm up, that east wind will keep us cool. Weekend sunshine still a bit below normal with our temperatures, but getting warmer each and every day across the state. Not much happening. However, we could see a few lake effect clouds develop offshore and move in later on this morning. You can see them here on future forecast at 10 o'clock. Maybe some clouds, especially near Lake Michigan. Those clouds go away by the afternoon. This is four o'clock. We're looking good. Lots of sunshine. If you're out on the town tonight at 11 o'clock, clear skies, light winds. It's going to be a cool night. Probably want a jacket if you're heading out tonight. 7.30 tomorrow morning on the way to church. Again, we have clear skies and again, lots of sunshine on the way for Sunday. Notice the wind arrows are a bit more out of the south on Sunday. That should help warm us up. All right, your forecast for today, a high temperature of 68. Mostly sunny, nice but cool. For tonight, a low temperature of 52 degrees near the lake, away from the lake, 46. Here's your seven-day forecast. Looks good. Sunday, if you're headed to the Packers game at Lambeau Field, it's going to be a beauty. 70 degrees for your high temperature at kickoff 325 by the fourth quarter 65 degrees and look at each day gets warmer 74 on Monday 77 on Tuesday partly cloudy on a Wednesday we'll look for 78 degrees and a slight chance of showers and 80 even back in the forecast Thursday and Friday Julia.